Hello, everyone. We have a really fun art supply to use today. I bought it on Amazon a couple days ago, but admittedly, I didn't quite pay attention <laughs> when I bought this. So this was a really cute thing to arrive in the mail. I wanted to get like magnetic canvases to paint on for like gifts for the holidays. And <laughs> I just think this is so cute. Like look at all these little paints and stuff in here. Like what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, so these technically are not canvases, it's MDF tile, but they have like little magnets and stuff in here that you just attach to the back of them. So that's really cool. Let's open her up, all right? Warning. Wow, that is like a very thorough warning sticker. Okay, it says draw and paint on your tile, leave it to dry, and then you put varnish over it and then you stick the magnet to the back. Pretty self-explanatory. So when I ordered this, it was pretty surprising that they came with paints. And this is super, super generous. However, I would like to use my acrylic gouache with this, but I think I'm gonna donate these to like a teacher or a counselor or something in my city because I don't typically use like this type of paint um, and I would rather it go towards somebody who could make use of it. I might use the varnish though, because this is pretty handy. These tiles are actually like super nice too. Like a lot more solid than I thought they would be. This comes with 10 tiles. That's awesome. Like super generous. I'm really impressed. Let's have some fun. Let's get started. Here's all our little magnet pieces. How much did I pay for this? Hold on. Dude, I only paid $9.99 for this. That's a good deal. This is not sponsored. I'm just having fun, making some art. This also came with some paint brushes. I will probably donate these too though. Also, I finally sniped this super cute paint palette from Sugar House Ceramic Co. And I'm so excited. I've been trying to get this specific palette for probably like close to a year. It's nice to support another artist too. Let's get started. Let's have some fun, make some art. And if it doesn't look okay, that's okay too, because we're just here for the ride. Let's open this gouache. Ooh, yes, it's been a while, man. Time for some painting. I know I said this in my last video, but finally feeling like I'm settled into a space again is such an amazing feeling. Okay, you can see on this palette here, I have some like brownish paint colors. And I think I would like to do like a base coat with these. Okay, I'm gonna take you down with me now. Let's just coat some of these. It's gonna be a good time. A good time, guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just try something. Um, maybe I'm supposed to paint on this side. For the sake of this painting video, I am, because I already set up my whole gouache palette and this is what I wanna use. We'll just set this little guy aside. <laughs> I am sensing that we should like really hang out in this video and make a lot of art. So what if we try to do five mini magnet paintings together? And then if this one ends up being fun, we can use the other five together some other time. So bust out your art supplies or I don't know, do your laundry with me. Let's hang out. Okay, so for the first piece, I have a friend who loves making homemade bread. She has brought me bread on so many occasions. She's like such a good human. I love her. Her name is Annie. And I just want to surprise her with a bread painting because it's like her hobby to make bread.
All right, let's do the background first, shall we? I'm low-key so excited to do this. <laughs> let's do like a somewhat sage colored foreground. Are you ready for this? <laughs> All right, we're getting there. I think we're gonna have to do a couple layers for the bread lobes so we can build up some value. But everything is blocked in, so thumbs up to that. Almost everything, you'll see, something's coming. At least if we make a mistake, we can keep on layering. Oh, it's starting to look like bread and I'm getting excited. Now I want bread. This here is like supposed to be burlap. <laughs> Trying to keep things wet here. Okay. Okay, I want to do like a little sprig of greenery in here with this. So let's see what we can do. I just had a really good idea. Okay, okay, okay. You know me and my gold colors. I think we should paint the edge of this canvas gold. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more awesome that sounds. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. Hey, I think it worked out really well. <laughs> Glad we did that. I should stop touching it though, because I smeared it. Time to do another painting, or time to eat some of Annie's bread, because I have some at home. Okay, let's see here. What should we do for this one? I have a really good idea. I think it would be really fun to try to paint some candles, you know? I don't know how it will go, but we're gonna try a nighttime scene. Give us some like fall vibes, you know? Okay, and now I want to do the background and I'll probably do like a dark blue at first. I am somewhat alluding to a pumpkin in the background. I'm gonna get rid of the pumpkin in the background. <laughs> I decided against it like right after I said that. <laughs> It's okay. Sometimes less is more. And in the case of this painting, less is more. <laughs> Let's figure out how to paint these flames. It shouldn't be too hard. There's like a, a yellowish hue about them. Okay, this one needs to dry for a little bit. So in the meantime, we're gonna move on to another one. How are you doing, little piece?
Okay, I think for this one, I want to do like a folk arty witch hat type thing. Do I have a super tiny brush? Ooh, I do, I have two of them. Let's paint. Okay, so yeah, I think I want to do some fun little like botanicals all around this. I'm gonna lighten this entire hat. I'm not happy with it anymore. Wow, this gold really lights things up. I wanna do like little gold berries too. I'm just into the gold. Uh, this one might be my favorite one so far. This one was just so fun yet so simple. I think we need to revisit this one though. fun painting flames. Okay, so now I need to decide if I want like stuff to kind of glow around these candles. Like we could make that work. Ooh, what if we did like a, an impressionistic style? Just want to do gold dots all over this one too, like twinkles in the background. I'm doing it. All right, I'm pretty happy with how this one came out. <laughs> it looks pretty sweet. I just had a realization, but these two paintings together kind of remind me of Harry Potter. That makes me really happy. <laughs> Oh, I need to watch Harry Potter again. It's been a while. Let's do another piece. Also, do you see those like little rays of sunshine? <laughs> I need to shut my blinds. Okay, this painting, mm, I think I know what I wanna do, guys. Okay, I need to do like a bright orangey background again. See what we can do. I need to spray all this. Y'all are getting dry. Ooh, I love this color. Gotta let that dry. So last year around this time-ish, I sort of did a ornament, Christmas ornament painting thing. And I did like impressionistic wildflowers. And you know, sometimes I miss those days. We're going back to some fun times today. I'm gonna try it with a different approach though. You can see I did a bright orange background. I'm gonna try to get some of that to glow through. I like these like glowy effect paintings. I wish I had regular red gouache. <laughs> Might have to get some of that. Ooh, I really like this limey, greeny color. Oh, I should probably wait to use that though. Let me finish the flowers. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> okay, I wanna do some like cream colored blossoms and stuff. Let's paint the sky. How exciting. All right, here's our wildflowers. I kind of like how simple yet abstract this one is. It's just like a bunch of paint blobs, but it makes a picture, especially far away. <laughs> okay, for our last painting, I think I want to go the simplish route 
again. Let's do a pinky canvas. Okay, I would like to write some words on this one. Sometimes that's fun. Okay, this one was definitely more simple, but I just really wanted to make a magnet that says this so that whoever opens the refrigerator can get a really positive reminder that we all need to see from time to time. So yeah, if you're going through a hard time right now, or maybe you're just doubting yourself and you need a little reminder, you matter. I thought that was a really fun one and there was no stress for like shading and getting everything to look right. It just had a simple message. So the only thing I have to do now is paint the edges. Oh, we have to add the magnets. Okay. You ever just have like a hair that's hiding on you somewhere, but you feel it tickle you. Ugh. We need to put the magnets on. We're at least gonna do that on video so we can, you know, have the joy of creating magnets. I don't wanna clickbait you guys. Are you ready to turn into a magnet? The answer is yes. Um, okay, this is where I kind of have an issue with this little art set. I was under the impression that two of these would go on the back of each piece of canvas and they only sent 10 of these. But like, how is this gonna be strong enough to hold the painting up and like a piece of paper? I'm putting two under them because, <sighs> yeah, I just can't here. We're doing two. Ooh, there's one. It is not centered. I <laughs> don't know how I messed that up. Okay, let's try another one. There we go. We like that. Look at that. Got our magnets on the back. Mmm, this is good. Also, I think I'm gonna change my mind with the varnish because I really like the matte finish with this acrylic gouache. And with acrylic gouache, it does not reactivate with water. So, I think we're fine. It is a personal preference. I know a lot of people would probably varnish acrylic gouache, but I don't want to, so it's all good. I really like the amount of heaviness that these have after the magnets are added to the back. Just my side thought. So I just remembered I have these oil paint markers from Arteza and I really, really like them. And I think they work really well for like touching up edges of stuff. So I'm gonna use these and touch up the edges of my canvas. I think this is a cool way to give them some color. I think I'll do orange for this one. Or should I do yellow? Oh, this is hard. I'm gonna do yellow. That worked really, really well. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Pretty happy with it. Glad I remembered I had these. Ah, I'm so happy with how the edges of these are turning out. I'm gonna do the same blue for this candle one because I really like the shade of blue. <laughs> Alrighty, the edges are painted on everything except this one, because this one is still drying, but I really enjoyed this entire painting experience. Like this one here, it's nice and subtle, but there's a little witch hat, some little gold berries and stuff, and I think it might be one of my favorites. I don't know. But this candle one was really fun. I enjoyed this a lot. Anyway, that's all the art we have left for today. However, we have five of these MDF board canvases left to make future magnets. So if you would like to see another one of these videos, drop a comment down below and maybe I will make this like a two part series if you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week with some more fun art. Bye.